Lilith is a character in The Binding of Isaac that was added in the Afterbirth DLC and gets unlocked by beating Ultra Greed as Azazel. She starts with one red heart container and two black hearts, average stats and the blind foe that prevents her from shooting tears. The tears are shot instead by one of her starting items, the Incubus. In addition to that very powerful familiar, she also starts with Cambion Conception, the box of friends in her active slot. Lilith heavily relies and plays her own familiars by default because she can't deal any damage on her own, because your tears will fire from a familiar that you drag behind you, some adjustment is required to hit enemies. The most basic way of getting the incubus or any other familiar in line with the enemy is to walk towards them. If they should chase after you or stand in one place, you can also run away in a straight line. The important thing is that you just don't walk all over the place. Getting good at this kind of movement brings you one step closer to mastering this character. The second step is about the passive item Cambion Conception. This item is a true powerhouse if used correctly. As you can see this item can give you some very powerful familiars and most of them deal damage. Our goal is to get the maximum amount of 4 familiars as fast as possible by taking control damage and not wasting any health on the floor. One big mistake I see many players do is that they leave the first or second floor after beating the boss while there are still a few red hearts left on the floor. But we are smarter than that. If there is any health left, find a way to damage yourself for the amount of health left on the floor. One of the best ways to take control damage are the blood donation machine and the devil beggar. If none of that is available, you can also use the curse room door. This one also has the benefit of counting as self-inflicted damage and will not impact your devil and angel deal chance if you haven't beaten the boss yet. Another way of taking half a heart of damage is touching fires. This however will affect your devil deal and angel deal chance. You should definitely avoid the random spike trap on the ground as they count as one hit but will take one full heart away. The spikes in the sacrifice room also take one full heart away, but if you can save up enough hearts on the floor to make them pay out, there's a good chance you get your health back or you get the money to buy the health from the shop. Alternatively, you can also use the IV bag and in the case you find the item school bag, you should consider adding the IV bag as your second active item. If you apply this strategy well, there's a decent chance that you will spawn the first familiar on the second and sometimes even on the first floor. This playstyle is very effective and is even fast enough for hush if you have some luck but in case you're going for boss rush you can skip some of these steps as this particular mug is very easy for Lilith. During boss rush you get two charges after every wave. This means with no further items or trinkets you can use the box of friends after every second wave. Doing so creates a big army pretty fast. Because boss rush is fairly easy to beat even with a weaker build you can try to go for devil deals and push through the other floors fast. When it comes to greed mode, Lilith is considered to be one if not the strongest character in the game because just like in boss rush, she can get a lot of charges through the waves and kill everything very effectively. I don't really think you need a lot of health for the waves, but ultra greed is a different story. In this fight, you get no extra charges, so make sure you have a fully charged box of friends when you go to the final floor. There is a chance to get one more charge in the mini boss fight room just before ultra greed, but I recommend to have it already charged at that point just to be sure. You should be pretty strong now, and if you played careful or spent your leftover money on some extra health, you should be able to beat the boss even if you take a couple hits. If you are still unsure if you can beat him, you might want to take a look at my greed mode breaking guide or the soon coming ultra greed guide. Because we want to take many hits as Lilith, we need a good amount of red health. Starting with only one red heart container is not optimal in that case. To work around that, we pray for HP drops from the boss fights and try to go for boss challenge rooms as they use the boss room item pool which has a lot of HP ups in it. Other good ways of getting health are blood donation machines if you can make them pay out and with some luck pills can be a health up as well. You almost always want to keep your box of friends, but if you find any HP giving items like prayer card or book of revelation, you can can use them always at least once and if you have still enough room left on the floor you can keep them for that time and try to get another use out of them. The question angel or devil deals clearly goes in favor of the angel room because they not only have many HP ups but also include some very strong familiars for damage or protection. Items you want to look out for on your run are familiars, orbitals and of course some damage and tier subs to make your incubus stronger. But you also want to look for battery items in the shop. Keep in mind that using your box of friends will pretty much 
double your damage for the room. Saving it for boss fights is a good idea, but don't be scared to use it in any other normal room if you consider it challenging. This counts double for large rooms as they will give you two thirds of the charge back after clearing them. Items like car battery or if you want better boss fights 4.5 volt should always be taken and a special mention goes out to BFFS as this item significantly boosts the power of almost every damaging dealing familiar in the game. So look out for this and any of the battery items when you visit the shop because Lille specifically works really well with some trinkets I will go over some of my favorites really quick. Duct tape can be used to stack your familiars on top of you. For that simply drop the trinket in front of a door and then leave and re-enter the room. Baby Bender gives every familiar homing a really good effect for delirium and other fast enemies. Cotton Lullaby gives every familiar a real big tier rate boost and Adoption Papers gives you easy access to powerful familiars in the shop. But there are many more great trinkets for Lilith. And now before we end the video I will explain to you one of the biggest exploits this character with no further items has to offer. If you've paid attention in the first part of the video you might have noticed that one of the Cambion Conception summons is the Leech. This little guy has the ability to heal you for half a heart every time it kills an enemy. If you give it some time it will easily restore your health and breaks Cambion Conception pretty fast. This strategy also works especially well in Greek mode so give it a try if you ever get the chance. Playing this character and trying to stack a lot of familiars together feels like commanding an army. This character is a good introduction to min-maxing and with some training can become one of your best characters. But that's pretty much it and leaves me with only one more thing left to say. My name is Bamachuda Free. This was the Lilith Guide in less than 7 minutes. Like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. And until next time.